Hi, a few people have asked me how do I identify birds, what books do I use? So I thought I would show you a few of my bird books. This is my favorite, this is Peterson's Field Guides for Eastern Birds. I have this particular book because I'm in Massachusetts. And the reason why I like this book is it's very easy to use and it has key notes for you to look at. So for instance, you know, is it a swimmer? Is it a bird of prey? Uh, what size is the bird? Shape, shape of the wings, the bill, the tail. How does the bird behave? Does it climb trees? How does it fly? Does it swim or wade? And then it's field markings. The tail patterns, the rump patches, eye stripes, eye wing rings, wing bars, and wing patterns. So the reason why I love Peterson's book is because they have drawings that are so much easier to identify a bird using a drawing than a picture. Because, you know, if the sun is glaring off the bird or it's um, an immature bird, male or female, um, it's really hard to sometimes capture that on a live bird. So, for instance, this book will tell you, you know, to look at on the ground dove, it points, they have this reddish type of wing and it tells you the keynotes to look at on the morning dove. So each bird, they break it down, male, female, juvenile, and it's an absolutely wonderful book. So another book I like to use is the National Audubon Society's Field Guide book. This book has beautiful pictures, but like I said, they don't put the arrows that tell you what to look for. The reason why I like this book is for the information that's at the back. It does a pretty good description of the bird, its voice, its habitat, nesting, and range. So that really um, helps me. I like to read that when I get home as well. And another one of my favorites is Stokes' Guide to Bird Behavior. And this is a wonderful book. Each of their books, you know, write about a certain number of book birds. And this book gives a description of their nest, where it's located, when do they breed, how many eggs, um, how long it takes before they fledge, and it's just wonderful information, and their calls. So each book has different information for different things that I'm looking at. So if you're a beginner birder, I would definitely recommend Peterson's Field Guide to Birds. Get the one that's in your area. Familiarize yourself with the book ahead of time. And the thing about birding is there is no pressure. Just take your time and bring a little notepad with you and write down, you know, where you're at, the size of the bird, some key markings. Does it have an eyebrow pattern? What does wings look like? Um, you know, what is it eating? What does it sound like? And then you can look in the book afterwards. And if you have been looking ahead of time, you, know, you might be able to um, have it narrowed down to at least what type of family. I love identifying sparrows because there's so many of them. And they have all different um, eyebrow patterns and little caps on their heads. So those are always fun for me. And every spring I have to re-familiarize myself with them, the ones that migrate back. So happy birding, everybody.